Hi friends, good afternoon. Today I would like to share with you all my experience in uh, BLS International, uh, which is a third party service provider, uh, an agency for uh, providing service to Indian Embassy, especially in UAE, of course in other GCC countries as well I think, but uh, as far as what I know, it is prominently in, in UAE because I was using, I have been using uh, BLS International services for passport services, uh, visa services, uh, significantly for passport renewal, new passport services. I went there for a new passport, uh, you know, to avail their services. And uh, two of the experiences made me little, you know, um, feeling bitter and negative about the quality of the services from BLS International. What are they I would like to share with you. <clears throat> and uh, see, there is a counter. I got an appointment at the slot between 11.20 in the morning and 11.40. Exactly, I was there in BLS International office in Aldrim Island before 30 minutes. So I was waiting for my turn. It was 11.20 already. And there is already a counter dedicatedly uh, designated for, uh, you know, the vulnerable categories such as physically challenged, you know, um, pregnant ladies and for newborn, new passport applications and uh, the other associated services. I approached them. They mentioned, no, despite the fact, uh, you know, they mentioned, I mean, one of the lady representative there, they mentioned, no, no, despite the fact that you've got 11.20 appointment, you have to wait, you have to follow the queue. Inside the office, it is not same like 11.20. I okay, well and good, understood. How about the counter that you dedicatedly designate for uh, vulnerable category, uh, newborn? I know I'm falling under this category. She said, no, 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 even it is falling under the same queue. I asked them out of uh, the outrageous feeling uh, you know I got provoked to a core actually what in the hell you guys have this you should have removed you should remove the sticker of vulnerable category whenever there is a counter designated dedicatedly for this category at whatever the point of time if there is already 10 vulnerable category the priority is for 10 starting from you know one two three four whoever comes first first come first basis but from the vulnerable category not from the whole population whoever inside which is including non-vulnerable category and that lady was not ready to understand that even a basic concept. Uh, then secondly, the other bitter experience that I got is one of the steps to register a new passport, uh, to arrange, to prepare the documents for uh, the new passport of newborn is uh, immediately after the newborn, uh, I think before uh, the completion of one year, we have to register them <coughs> Uh, uh, also, before you start applying for the new passport, you have to register them in a uh, website, Indian government website, indiancitizenship.nic.in, something like that, with all the information when we have to, to, we have to upload the birth certificate, all other required documents, you know, we have, I uploaded, I finished everything and I finally I got a confirmation email with a reference number stating that you registered. I showed them, I registered, which is one of the prerequisite and I followed that. They said, no, 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 before the submission, there is a page where there is your signature and photo of uh, the newborn. You have to give the screenshot. I told them it is not clearly and explicitly and specifically mentioned in the, the steps. No, no, no. And she was argue, arguing again with me. I was like, you know, pissed off to the core. Actually, I was, uh, I told them clearly it is not correct. And you are wasting my time. I got the appointment. And they said that if you want to, uh, redo the process again. We will do it for you, but you have to pay 90 dirhams. See the hell? They are looting money, I think. Uh, it is. It was outwardly, you know, visible and obvious that they are simply uh, asking money from the people. I mean, what I mean to say is actually regardless of the efforts that the people are, uh, you know, doing, whoever coming there to apply from home, you know, they made it completely useless despite the fact that it is legit and genuine, they wanted, they gave lame excuses uh, and emphasized that you have to do it from here, 90 drums. I was like arguing, you know, I made a scene out of it actually, then they got really, you know, kind of, you know, okay, you know, we should not play with all people actually, yeah. Then I got them suggestion form, I escalated, I raised it, I uh, put in the, the suggestion form, it's a poor performance or, you know, process improvement required or less than average service. After all these chaos, you know, the guy, you know, really helped me well. Uh, you know, after knowing that they should not play with, you know, they, they should give the service equally and transparently and fairly for everyone in a nice manner. But people don't escalate or don't get, you know, they take it for granted like, you know, in our country it is like that. But, you know, in overseas they, they have to give a good impression on our country. 
uh, although not in our own country, yeah, BLS International have to improve their services, improve their processes. Actually, I put my name and mobile number. You can call me for this, uh, you know, process improvement and this thing. Actually, I put my comments. Okay, guys. So whatever uh, uh, the suggestion or the final outcome of this video. Uh, if you want to go for new passport services, new passport or whatever to BLS International anywhere in GCC, just go and do the services from there. You do, you put all your efforts at home actually for applying, uh, doing all the application, spending one, two hours, you know, and it will go into vain. They will give all kinds of like, lame excuses for you to redo that there, which will waste your time and you will be falling behind and lagging behind in the, the queue. Uh, or otherwise you have to pay extra so don't waste your time at home actually despite the fact that it is the correct thing to do actually in an organized way this BLS International they have to improve a lot this is a complaint on BLS International I'm posting this video I'm spreading I'm going to spread this video to the social media for them to realize that you know these things are happening if at all they didn't realize before thank you guys for watching have a fantastic day ahead